We're off to our secret spot. And I'm gonna show you how to create the best baba ganoush you have ever tasted. It's one of my favorite sauces. I can't believe I haven't showed you yet. Welcome to Bonda Harvest Basics. We have our barbecue hot and ready to go. We have our eggplants and all our ingredients ready to put together the most delicious baba ganoush you will ever taste. And the secret is char grilling the hell out of the humble eggplant. And I'm gonna do it over a charcoal barbecue here. It adds a whole bunch of flavor. Um, if you don't have a charcoal barbecue, don't stress. You can literally put these bad boys directly over the flame and you just wanna cook the hell out of it basically for about 10 minutes until it collapses, until the outside is dark and charred and gnarly. And that is a secret to the perfect bubble ganoush. So these bad boys are going straight onto the barbecue. You wanna char grill the outside and you want all that gnarly, smoky caramelization and flavor to go into the soft, tender eggplant itself. So while it's grilling, I'm just gonna poke some holes in there. So while our beautiful eggplants are charring, we're just gonna prep and put all our other ingredients into a bowl. So other ingredients are tahini, some beautiful zingy Greek yogurt. We have some garlic, which we're gonna finely microplane, some lemon juice and rind, and a good hit of olive oil. It all goes into a bowl. Once our eggplants are charred, we're gonna give it a clean. We're gonna scoop out that flesh and basically mush the hell out of it with a fork. Um, you can put it in a food processor at home if you'd like, and it's that easy. It's really simple, and what I love about bubble ganoush is you get this sort of ridiculously flavor-filled smokiness from the eggplant, but then you get creamy yogurt and tahini, and then you get a cut of acid from the lemon. So it's all about balance. It's all about getting those ingredients and quantities right. So I've got two eggplants, and I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. So one clove of garlic per eggplant, little sneaky trick, always do your lemon or citrus second and it helps remove that gnarly raw garlic flavour. In with juice of one lemon, catching the seeds. We're going to add some tahini and yoghurt in there as well. Good hit of olive oil. Just give that a quick mix together. Ready for our smoky eggplant. Really good amount of black pepper in there. Good hit of salt. And that's our base ready to go. Oh yeah, that is exactly what we're after. So our eggplants have been charring and I've been turning them for about 10 to 15 minutes and you can see they've completely collapsed. And that's what you're after, all that smoke, all that flavor. So they kind of come off the barbecue onto a chopping board. And I'm just gonna let them rest for about five minutes. And there's so much residual heat in there, they're gonna to continue to cook. They're gonna release all their juices. I'm just gonna slice them in half and then scoop out all that tender, smoky, flesh. Steaming, tender. So now we just, with a whisk, break it up, bring it together. A little bit more black pepper, a little bit more salt, just to help bring out some of that flavour fold it through and we are good to go. I'm just going to finish it off with some pomegranate. And that my friends is another Bonda Harvest basic, how to make a delicious bubble ganoush over the barbecue, smoky, smooth, delicious. Oh my god, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe. This recipe is at bonnetharvest.com. Check it out. See you next week. Ew.